Good morning, Chad, as well. Risk off returned to US markets uh, overnight, uh, where the indices, major indices, were broadly lower uh, after jolts, job openings showed a, a rapid weakening in the US labor market. And regional banks resumed their slide on lingering fears uh, of the health of that sector. So all major indexes finished in the red. Uh, the home of the aforementioned regional banks, the Russell 2000, did lead the charge lower, down by over 2% on the session. Uh, JP Morgan bailout of uh, First Republic was quickly forgotten. Uh, the S&P Regional Banking ETF KRE, which is uh, one that's been in the media a lot lately, tumbled around 6%. As investors uh, I don't think are convinced that this regional banking crisis is over yet. In the FX markets, US dollar was mostly weaker on the session after a miss in the JOLTS report. Um, bond yields fell on that and, and saw a real repricing of the Fed's uh, future rate hikes with uh, only an 85% chance of, of, a, of a 25 basis point hike uh, in Wednesday on Wednesday's session. Um, it was 95% yesterday, so a fair drop there. Now, this obviously dragged the US dollar lower with the dollar index breaking below 102. The Aussie dollar initially outperformed. Uh, Aussie US broke above 67 on that surprise uh, rate hike from the RBA, which no one saw coming. Uh, they did also note in their statement that inflation remained too high, and they did leave the open, door open for further rate hikes, which was seen as hawkish, which really supported the Aussie initially anyway. Uh, it did fizzle, though, in the, later in the US session on, on the kind of sour risk sentiment, um, gave up all, all half of its uh, gains, the post-RBA gains, to finish below that 67 handle. The yen was the outperformer, again showing its favoured safe haven status, uh, rallied strongly against the US dollar as a benefit from that risk off sentiment. And also falling uh, US bond yields was a tailwind for the yen. Uh, dollar yen pushed strongly lower out of its resistance zone that's it's held its kind of going any higher since in 2023. Commodities, lower yields, a weaker US dollar, safe haven flows, all favoured gold. Um, you've got debt ceiling worries, banking woes. The saw gold soar above $2,000 an ounce, hit its highest level in three weeks. Uh, now, this 2000 level has been a real battle between the bulls and the bears last couple of weeks. So uh, yesterday's session, the bulls definitely won that. If, if Gold can hold above this critical level. You think a new leg higher to all-time highs is certainly on the table. Uh, crude oil tumbled, crashing through its April lows. As a, on a combination of risk-off fears, continued angst around Fed um, hiking, weighing, weighing on demand, and rising Iranian oil production as well. Uh, so USO, USD tumbling down to 71 handle and really well and truly raising all that post-OPEC plus um, rally we saw about a month ago. Uh, so later on today in today's economic calendar, the, the big risk event will be the FOMC meeting. Um, markets are still strongly pricing in a 25 basis point hike from the Fed. Um, those odds have come down since yesterday's JOLTS report. But, you know, and the markets were also strongly pricing in a hole from the RBA yesterday. So I guess you never say never. Um, a move higher in the rates it shouldn't have too much an impact on the market being so priced in, but all traders will be looking at that statement and the presser afterwards for any clues of the Fed's future actions, and that's where the volatility will be.